Well, joining us now in his first interview since that Jackson Hole speech is Mohammed El Aryan. He's chief economic advisor of Allianz. Mohammed, it's great to have you on Overtime. Welcome. Thank you for having me, Morgan. So that's exactly where I want to start, because you are arguing that we could see more volatility. You put this op-ed out uh, over the weekend. Has Powell, was Powell as dovish as the market has interpreted him to be? So certainly he was very dovish. If you think of the three most quoted phrases of his speech, one is the time has come for policy adjustment. I think everybody agreed with that and agrees with that. Second was the direction of travel is clear. People agreed with that and still agree with that. The third one is what surprised people, is that we do not seek or welcome further cooling in labor market conditions. We enforce that with the perception that he declared victory over inflation. And the view in the marketplace is that this is a single mandate Fed, that the only thing the Fed is worried about is higher unemployment. And that's why you've had this very aggressive pricing of cuts validated. And as Mike Santoli just said, it is very aggressive pricing. And if that occurs, it's because something went wrong in the economy. So that is why the, there's, an in, there's an inherent inconsistency in how the market has interpreted that speech. Mm. So is it fair to think that part of this Powell pivot has been to a central bank that is more of a dual mandate central bank? Or is it just that the single ma mandate, so to speak, has shifted from inflation to labor? So certainly what they want is to shift from a single mandate that was focused on inflation being too high and we got to take it down to a dual mandate that has risks on either side. That's what they want. Where they've ended up, because of the way they've communicated, is that now we still think of, we, the marketplace, still think of the Fed as a single mandate, but we, we replace higher inflation with higher unemployment. And that is critical, Morgan, because it means that the Fed is going to be incredibly dovish. And that's how the market has priced it. Mm. So we've been seeing this softening labor market, and we've seen that unemployment rate move up and move up pretty quickly. But I realize we're still at very low levels, historically speaking. But labor also tends to be a lagging indicator and can change very quickly. So if we talk about the uh, the lagged effects of monetary policy when you're tightening, what does that mean when you're loosening? Uh, and, and what does that mean for the possibility of, of recession risk increasing here? So there's lots of question marks. One, we don't know whether we felt the full effects of what was a very aggressive interest rate hiking cycle because they started late. So we don't know whether we full, felt the full effects. We also know that it's going to take time for the cuts to go all over the economy. Now, the market is doing some of the heavy lifting for the Fed. So there's lots of question marks. Also, the Fed is retaining maximum optionality. So Powell didn't talk about the destination, didn't even talk about what the first stop looks like. And yet the market feels very confident about the destination and how quickly we're going to get there. So that's why there's a lot priced in right now. Um, and we don't know what the labor market is going to do. So look at PCE this Friday. Look at the jobs report the following Friday, but especially look at the retail earnings we're going to get tomorrow, Wednesday, and Thursday. That's going to be really important to get a sense of the strength of the consumer. Okay. Have we ever seen a tightening cycle? And I realize we're at the end of it. We're, com we're coming out the other side now, and, and again, to use the word pivot. But have we ever seen a tightening cycle that was this aggressive that didn't result in a recession? No. In fact, we've only seen two soft landings, one in the 60s and one in 1995. They, they are not frequent events. And let's not forget that this hiking cycle had four consecutive 75 basis point hikes as they were catching up, which we haven't seen. Having said that, I am among the people who have been very impressed by the resilience of the economy because of all the positive supply side shocks we've had in the last two years. So this is a resilient economy. To be clear, soft landing is still the most probable outcome, but it's still only about 55%. So it is the most probable, but it's not the dominant outcome still.